Hello guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. So, uh, we've looked at that major hemorrhage protocol activation and what to do. So now let us look at what if this patient, okay, is on anticoagulant, okay? Once again, my name is Dr. Emmanuel Obodo. I've been working in the UK as a specialist biomedical scientist and I'm a lecturer in biomedical science here in the United Kingdom. Yeah, so let's get into this. Now, when the patient is on anticoagulant, Meaning, anticoagulant, remember, inhibit blood clotting, okay? Now, some of them, like we've already discussed, antagonize, you know, vitamin K, which is required for blood clot, okay? So, because of they do that, and some of them inhibit some factors, and because of that, you know, the person is likely to bleed, and it might be difficult to stop that bleed. So, one of the things that may be done, we have to then reverse that very anticoagulant, okay? So the question now is that what can be done if a patient is on anticoagulant and is bleeding in a case of emergency? What the world is going to do or what the, the decision that the doctor is going to do is to reverse that very anticoagulant, okay? So if I'm to title this video, I'm going to call it anticoagulant reverse in major hemorrhage protocol activation, okay? So now what they are going to do because the person is bleeding, and they activate a major hemorrhage. One of the things they might give you, remember we've talked about pack 1 and pack 2 and all of that. They may not necessarily be asking you for red blood cell. Okay? Or even if they do ask you for red blood cell, one other thing they may ask you, they may ask you a product that can help to reverse that very anticoagulant. So now, let me give you a background because now, I'm not going to go into detail of what to issue in terms of red cells and FFP and we've discussed that. I'm going to focus mainly on anticoagulant reverse, okay? Remember that for the fact that this patient has anticoagulant, it doesn't matter. If you continue giving the person blood, okay? That anticoagulant dose in that person's system will continue to inhibit either the vitamin K or any of the clotting factors as the case may be and that means that all your effort to all the effort of the doctors to prevent the bleed or to stop the bleed will not happen because that will have effect. So one of the things that the doctors will do first is to reverse that anticoagulant. So what do I mean? In order they have to stop the effect of that very anticoagulant and how can they do that? Now, remember that we did mention some anticoagulant, okay, and when we were looking in coagulation, we look at something like a warfarin, okay, which I told you um, can, you know, have effect on extrinsic factors, okay, you know, we also look at something like heparin and all of that, okay, so if you've not watched my video on maybe race INR or APTT, I would suggest that you go and watch that, okay. Now, let's say the person is on warfarin and this person is bleeding in a case of emergency they will ask you for something in a, they may not be asking you red blood cells is it now they may want you to issue something to them so i want you to know that in blood bank we don't just only issue blood product we also issue medicinal product okay so this medicinal product is where this anti d or albumin or autoplex like i'm going to discuss today comes in so a patient that is on warfarin how can you reverse it you reverse it by giving prothrombin complex comp uh, concentration that is pcc okay and that pcc is called autoplex okay so this autoplex you know it helps to reverse the effect of this very warfarin, okay? In other words, that warfarin effect on vitamin K, it will, have, it will inhibit that effect of that very anticoagulant. So it will reverse the effect of the warfarin, okay? That's what the autoplex does. So autoplex can be used to reverse the effect of warfarin, you see it now? So meaning that if a patient is bleeding, in a case of emergency and the person is on warfarin, one of the things that the doctors will consider first to ask you who is in the blood bank is autoplex. Okay? So they will ask you for autoplex. That autoplex, like I said, is called protrombin complex concentration, which is PCC. They will ask you for that because that will help to reverse the effect of that very warfarin. Okay? Another thing they may ask, they may ask you something like phytonadion. So phytonidion can also help to reverse the effect of the warfarin. So remember I've mentioned autoplex and phytonidion. So another thing is that what of in a case of heparin? And in heparin, which is also anticoagulant, that's what we call unfractionated heparin, and that's what we call a low molecular weight heparin. But let me not bother you about that. But in a case of unfractionated heparin, you can give protamine 
suffered. So now, what we are talking about is, in a case of emergency and somebody is on anticoagulant, you need to reverse the effect of that very anticoagulant before giving blood. Because if you don't do that, as you are trying to give the patient blood, that anticoagulant effect will make it difficult for you to stop that very bleed. Okay. So now, in order to reverse that very effect, that's why we can give this very medicinal product. So for all fractionated heparin, you give protamine sulfate. Now, what in the case of low molecular weight heparin? So somebody is on low molecular weight heparin, what are you going to do? You can also give the same protamine sulfate or you can give recombinant factor 7A. So both protamine sulfate and recombinant factor 7A can be used to reverse low molecular weight heparin. And sometimes it may not even be bleeding. It may not even be bleeding. Sometimes it might be that they want to take the patient for surgery or for oppression as the case may be. So, and they know that the person is on anticoagulant, they need to reverse it first before carrying out that procedure. Because if they don't, if the person starts bleeding, the person might bleed to death. You see it now? Anyway, but even in the case of emergency, then what I'm trying to say is to mention this medicinal product that can be used to reverse the effect of anticoagulant even in a case of emergency. Okay? So, once again, for low molecular weight heparin, you get protamine sulfate and you get recombinant factor 7A. Okay? Now, what about some of these uh, direct oral anticoagulants such as maybe something like apixaban, rivaroxaban and endoxaban and you can use otaplex so you can use otaplex like we mentioned in terms of warfarin you can use otaplex which is prothrombin uh, complex concentration so you can use otaplex when the patient is on this apixaban or rivaroxaban or endoxaban okay so you can use that as well to reverse the effect of this very anticoagulant another thing you can use is factor 8 inhibitor bypass activity so this factor 8 inhibitor bypass activity can also be used to reverse this very direct oral anticoagulant. So these are the things that will have to be done. So in a case of emergency, before the doctor start even thinking about, okay, let us give blood, or if they're giving red blood cell, one of the things they may ask you is to issue this very medicinal product. So what am I trying to say? So when you go, when you go for an interview and they ask you something like this, they say, how do you reverse? Sometimes it may not come as a major hemorrhage. They may ask you something like, how do you reverse anticoagulant? So you reverse anticoagulant using this medicinal product, like I've said, okay? Or they may say, in a case of emergency, you know, uh, there's a major hemorrhage activation and, you know, the patient is on anticoagulant, what can be done? Or what do you think that can be done? What you think that can be done is that that anticoagulant effect must be reversed first, okay? Before really uh, giving the person this very product. Why? Because if you continue giving the person these red blood cells, without reversing this very effect, it will be difficult to stop the bleed because the the anticoagulant dosage in the person's system is already like some of them is inhibiting the vitamin K which is required for the clot and other effects that they have. Uh, some of them are inhibiting some clotting factors and in that situation it might be difficult to stop the person from, from bleeding. Therefore, if somebody is bleeding and the person is on anticoagulant, one of the things to do first is to try to reverse the effect of that very anticoagulant. And I've mentioned in a case of warfarin, what do you do? You give PCC which is otaplex. Or you can give phytonadion, okay? So, otaplex and phytonadion is used to reverse warfarin. Now, what about something like um, unfractionated heparin? Again, what you can use there is protamine sulfate. Low molecular weight heparin, you use the same protamine sulfate. And also, you can also use recombinant factor 7A, okay? Now, what about in the case of direct oral anticoagulant, such as what, which is what we call DOAC, which is where you can get like apixaban, endoxaban, or rivaroxaban. You can also give otaplex, okay, which is, you know, what like we've mentioned before. And as well, you can also decide to use something like factor 8 inhibitor bypass activity as well. So here you go. If you go for interview, they ask you how to reverse anticoagulant or in the case of emergency, somebody is bleeding and the person is on anticoagulant, what do you think that can be done? What that can be done is to reverse that very anticoagulant. I hope this makes sense. Anyway, thank you very much. And if you do have any question, please, can you put it on the comment section? And again, let me know what you think about the video. Please, can I ask you to like, share, and subscribe? Thank you very much. I come back away again. Bye-bye.